She wanted what you had, all right? She specifically wanted that love that I have for you. You know, I loved you, shorty, but you see, you wouldn't let me pipe. And I really wanted to give it all. And I, I really wanted to tear you up. And you know, she was just there because you know she was giving it to everybody. So it just, it just happened one day. And it's not the fact that she just really wanted what you had. Like, she literally was like, you know, kiss me like you kiss shorty. Like, hug me like you hug shorty and that's when it started getting weird because i was like bro like you not shorty like cut it out and i will never love you or like you or touch you or kiss you like her Just let that sink in, y'all. Just let that sink in. She essentially took my man and then tried to make my man love on her the way he loves on me. What type of psycho child? If and you're, bro, this is high school. This is scary. The fact that there's probably grown women that do 10 times worse than this is actually scary. What? I'm the Mademoiselle. Welcome to my third channel today. We have another story time for y'all. And let me just say, I filmed this video two times already. And I had all types of technical difficulties, but no lie. All right, we here with it. And as you guys already heard, this is my third channel. So if you're not subscribed to the other two, what is you doing? They're always linked down below. My main channel deals with black social commentary. Meanwhile, my Haitian channel deals with Haitian voodoo, politics, and folklore. Please make sure you go check them out. I also have a Patreon where I do dedicated uploads, early access, and we have a private Discord server with all of you guys who join the Patreon. And most importantly, I'm always on there interacting with you guys. Please make sure you guys peep the description box for all the things that you guys consistently ask me about down below. Now, of course, huge thanks to the sponsor of this video, Anna Louisa, but we're gonna get into that later on in this video. So this video is going to be a JJ story time. Now if you guys have not been prepped about JJ, let me just say right now that you probably don't even need to watch the other videos, but if you wanna be thoroughly entertained, please go watch the JJ story times. Now I'm going to link them down below because what I'm telling y'all, JJ is the prime example of what happens when the Gemini does not grow the fuck up and realize that they are not center of this universe that's all i gotta say and let me just say my current man is a gemini so i know what the fuck i'm talking about my sister is a gemini my father is a taurus gemini cusp dmx which is a father figure of mine is also a gemini taurus cusp so like listen i know what i'm talking about i'm literally surrounded by gemini's one of my closest cousins is also a gemini like listen i know what i'm talking about okay like i'm surrounded by them and i know when they don't mature enough or whatever they seem to think that they're the center of attention Okay, they say that they, they all of that in a bag of chips, okay? And if you guys watched the last JJ story time, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about because JJ had the nerve all audacity to accuse me, okay? Me of doing voodoo on him, okay? So listen, if you wanna be thoroughly entertained, go watch the other JJ story times like I just said, all right? So today's story time, we're gonna finally talk about who JJ had the nerve gall audacity to cheat on me with. So let's just give a little disclaimers because I already know there's going to be at least one comment down there referencing this like i said i got a whole man okay we've been together for over three years it'll be four in october i am no longer upset with jj i've forgiven jj me and jj are cool however the saber tooth hoe i'm legitimately annoyed by the fact that she did what she did to me and most importantly i'm telling y'all this story so that you guys can be aware of who you're friends with who you keep around you and most importantly who you keep your man around and who you actually let become your man or who you let become your woman because a lot of people tend to have this whole thing of oh well I'm not gonna bring my man around anyone I'm not gonna bring my woman around anyone but it really shouldn't be that way realistically if you're in a relationship that person should not even be trying to fraternize with your friends um and vice versa however this video and all my story time serve as a learning experience
experience. I don't tell any of my story times to be malicious, to talk shit, or you know, just to be rude. It doesn't mean I still have feelings for JJ, or I hate this bitch, or I'm gonna hit her, or whatever the case may be. So take everything in this video with a grain of salt. It's literally just the story time, okay? I love my man, I love my current relationship. However, I let her talk shit, and I'm a Capricorn, and we hold grudges. So let me just say, like, right off the gate, this is just a story time specifically for you guys. So you guys could learn to be very, very careful who you keep in your circle, all right? So, like I said, this video is going to be about JJ, okay? So a quick little preface if you guys have not heard about my ex JJ, I dated JJ in high school, legit. I was like, what, 14, 15 at the time, maybe 13, I don't even remember. And I was head over heels for JJ. But apparently, a lot of people were head over heels for JJ too. Specifically because, and what I'm realizing now, is because JJ was head over heels for me too. Like I think allegedly, because a lot of these men keep telling me this and I will never believe anything that these men say except for my current man, okay? But for the most part, a lot of these men claim that I was their first love. Even this last man that had the nerve gall audacity to cheat on me with his best friends, bitch, and marry her and do all of this. Listen, that's another story time. I'll link it down below too. Apparently I was his first love. How could you do that to your first love? I don't know, I don't make the rules they do. I don't trust it. I'm a lot of man's first love apparently. I don't know. So, you know, he was head over heels for me. He treated me very well. Everything was great. And I thought everything was great until, you know, he went, he cheated on me. I beat him up. Security had to get me. I didn't get suspended, thank God, but I had stained in that high school. But it's a whole lot of lies. Like I said, y'all gotta watch the story time. Fast forward, you know, he basically would come to me all the time when his bitches would leave him because he was a woman beater on the low. And then eventually he tried to accuse me and do a voodoo on him. Rah, 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 rah. But my main issue that I always had with JJ was that JJ had cheated on me. I beat him up for it, all of that. And we still became friends after all of that. Don't ask why. Like I said, I was 13, 14, 15 while all of this was happening. And even into adulthood, I always had it about of my head even though we were cool and i forgave him and all of that who did you cheat on me with jj and he would never tell me he would never tell me who he cheated on me with he would never like divulge the information like he would never entertain the conversation like he would always be like oh i'm not telling you i'm not telling you i'm not telling you i'm like why would you not tell me who you cheated on me with like it's been years you're in another relationship i'm in another relationship we're cool i forgave you that's another thing he finds it hard to believe that i forgive him and i'm not gonna lie i'm a very unforgiving person i forgive you on my own terms in my own time if i believe you deserve it um, so I get it, but like to be honest with you, I have no malice towards JJ. Hence why he sat here and thought that like I did voodoo on him because he doesn't believe it. But it's like I really do believe him and I really do forgive him. Like I don't have any issue towards him. But he's like, listen, if I tell you who I cheated on you with, you're gonna try to fight her. You're gonna hit her. And I'm like, why does everybody think I'm the same 13, 14, 15 year old me? This is not high school Ivana. And those of y'all who are watching this who know me like since high school, y'all would know. I did used to be like that. I am no longer the crazy, rambunctious, loud, ghetto, fist fighting Ivana. Like I've calmed down a lot, but back in the day, I was not. I'm not even gonna lie, like I was on some smack a bitch if she say something crazy type of person. Like I really was. Like I actually be thinking back to a lot of the things that I did back then. And I'm like, yo, I was literally, I still am four foot 11 smacking girls that was literally double my size. And they was doing nothing to me, like crazy. Would I do stuff to them like that now? No, but like I was nuts. Like I was out here on some, oh, we're gonna lead a march and we gonna fight them hoes because Nah, we gonna grab these bottles, we gonna grab them numb chicks, we gonna die. I was nuts, okay? That's for another story, for another time, but I guess a lot of people still see me as a, oh nah, we ain't fucking with that because she crazy. And I think a lot of that has to do with the reputation my uncle done set up for me, which another video you guys have to watch. I'm gonna try to link all of these down below. Let's hope I remember. Like, I think since he set up this reputation that I was out here fighting and I drew crowds and the police came, you know, people thought that I was really out here. And I'm like, okay, I have my moments, but like, like, 
dang like can you just tell me who you cheated on me with so literally after what so now we're 28 this all happened when i was like let's just say 15 to save the purposes of me saying 13 14 15 um, what over 10 to 13 years ago my guy like can you please just tell me who you cheated on me with so when we were having this whole conversation as i told you guys before here's the story time promise okay as i told you guys before when we were having the whole conversation about how i did voodoo on him which i did not do voodoo on him i was like you know what you sitting here you're accusing me of doing malice towards you why don't you tell me who you cheated on me with again after 30 minutes of going back and forth of how he can't tell me how i'm gonna get so upset i'm gonna hurt the girl he was like you know what fine i cheated on you with saber tooth swear to god i felt 15 year old me creep up back into my spine i didn't even feel like me again i'm not even joking i'm not kidding i'm not over exaggerating because you cheated on me with who you cheated on me with what i think it's a good time to take a break and thank today's sponsor before I get too riled up. So like I said, thank you so very much to today's sponsor, Anna Louisa. Now I've talked about Anna Louisa a few times on this channel and I absolutely love their products. Most of the time when you guys see me wearing jewelry in my videos, it is Anna Louisa jewelry. They make sustainable, beautiful jewelry that does not tarnish, that does not break, that is just overall impeccable quality. I have a bracelet on from them right now. The earrings I have on is from them right now. And this wonderful necklace is from them as well. They just sent me this necklace. However, these earrings and this bracelet is actually my favorite piece from them. Like, bro, this... I take a shower with these pieces consistently. Not the hoops because like it's kind of annoying to take a shower and sleep with hoops on, but this bracelet, sometimes I leave it on for weeks on end because I just forget to take it off. The quality is phenomenal. What I'm telling you, it will not tarnish and I'm very big on non-tarnishable tarnishable non-tarnishable jewelry specifically because one i do forget to take it off adhd be real real active and two because sometimes i'm in positions where like i don't want to take it off like maybe i'm traveling or maybe i'm at a spa maybe i'm at the pool and it's like i don't want to lose it so having jewelry that will not tarnish specifically because i'm in water or if i'm in like a situation where i can't take it off is really really important to me so this bracelet definitely is my favorite it's very high scale and it goes with everything you could dress it up you could dress it down. I wear it to the gym. I wear it when I'm going out. I wear it when I'm filming. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then these hoops, I've been looking for legitimately big, but like small hoops at the same time. Like this is like in between big and in between small, but y'all know, like I'm a really small girl. Like I look bigger on camera, but a lot of you guys have seen me in person and y'all be like, bro, like you're really little in person. I know. Um, I am, but these might look a little bit bigger on me than they would on the average person, but like these are the perfect size hoops. They're like a medium size hoop. And they're a gold hoop. I absolutely love it. It is stunning. Like, yeah. Do you see this? Like, it's just so gorgeous. I love these earrings. And what's really amazing about their products as well as it's sustainable jewelry. You don't have to worry about anything bad coming from the making of this jewelry. I love the packaging that the jewelry comes in because it's reusable, okay? I use these a lot to transport my jewelry from Ana Luisa as well as other jewelry pieces. Like, excuse me, look at this packaging. Like literally it's pouches and they're cloth pouches like look at this it's not plastic or anything like that it comes in these little pouches like it's just phenomenal like i love it i absolutely love it okay so make sure you guys go shop in louisa they're always having sales they're always having discounts i guarantee you you are bound to find something that you really like on there make sure you guys use my link and or code everything is going to be linked down below in the description box or the pin comment Comment. and yeah like make sure you guys hit me up to let me know what y'all got because i'm so curious i'm consistently shopping on there because like i love their jewelry like i'm honestly like in that phase where i'm kind of like done buying shein and stuff like that like i'll still buy it but i really want things that are going to last so make sure you guys go shop anna louisa use my code use my link use everything to support this channel so let's get back into this story time so who is Sabertooth? And why am I calling her Sabertooth? 
Now, specifically, Sabretooth is a girl that I was friends with that had a saber tooth. Like, I'm not even joking, I'm not over exaggerating. Like, I'm not talking shit. And I'm not even gonna lie, it's kind of problematic to name JJJJ because it's so close to his nickname. And it's kind of messed up to be calling saber tooth saber tooth because she really did have a saber tooth in real life and people gonna figure out who the fuck I'm talking about. But to be honest, I really don't care because everybody in the world knew that saber tooth was fucking my man, but me. So at this point, everybody in the city know the story, but me. Okay, I just found out about the story. So y'all shut up. Anyways, Sabretooth. Let's get into Sabretooth real quick. So let me just say straight up, Sabretooth, JJ and I were like literally a clique. It was the three of us to the point where we had Facebook pictures together, y'all. And I'm so mad I can't pull up the pictures because it's on my old Facebook that got hacked like right before I got into college. But yo, we used to literally be together all the time. We had first period together, which was a math class that we all failed together. Yeah, I know, not a flex, but it's facts. We had gym together. We didn't have lunch together, but like we had, I think, English together as well, which was, I think, think fourth period. So we had first, fourth, and I think seventh period, which would gym together. I'm so shocked I remember that. So like we were together a lot. We'd be together in the hallway. People would always see all three of us together. So like I was shocked when he said, I cheated on you with saber tooth. Like how you cheat on you? How you cheat on me with Sabretooth? Okay, now when it comes to Sabretooth, Sabretooth had a very, very promiscuous reputation. Now, one thing I haven't been able to tell from a lot of the story times that I've told on this channel, as well as my main channel, I tend to be friends with promiscuous people, um, whether they are male or female, specifically because one, where I come from, like at the end of the day, I lived in the hood. A lot of people that come from urban neighborhoods do tend to be promiscuous, specifically because of their parents not being around around adverse situations, being raised by um, different guardians that aren't really their parents, growing up in shelters, things like that. Like literally I ended up losing my virginity specifically because I was homeless. So I'm not gonna say like birds of a feather flock together. That's why I really don't like that term because I've been friends with a lot of promiscuous people and I've never been promiscuous. Yeah, I had my days, yeah, I had my times, I had my little thought phase, but I've never been promiscuous. I've never been a thought or anything like that. I've never been one to judge someone specifically because they were a thought. However, I've only been friends with people that were thoughts that knew they were thoughts. Like I hate somebody that is promiscuous or is a thought or is a whatever, a sex or whatever, and likes to deny or likes to put on a different front for the world. Like that that annoys the hell at me. Like, don't sit here trying to act like you not a hoe when you a hoe, okay? And yes, I said hoe, I said thought, I said promiscuous. Like, yeah, I could have just said hoe right out, but I just like to interchange the words. But like, don't try to act like something you not. I only hang out with people that know who they are, thin it what they are, and are not ashamed of it. Um, so I guess we could call that sex positive. And for the most part, Sabretooth was pretty sex positive, but kind of on the low about it. But I really like Sabretooth because like, she was just a real bitch at the end of the day. Like she was real, um, she was out in the open with her stuff and she was just a really nice girl. She was really pretty. Um, she just had a saber tooth. Like she had really jacked up teeth. Like what I'm telling y'all really, like really jacked up teeth. Um, like hence why her name is saber tooth. Okay. Um, so it, it was just interesting. Like when he told me that I'm like, how are you going to mess with somebody that's known to be with everybody? Like I'm not judging her, but facts are facts. Um, and again, like I said, I only mess with females and males that know who the fuck they are. Like if you're gonna be promiscuous and you're gonna let people know your business, you gonna have to, to, to hang out with me, you gonna have to be who you are and stand in who the fuck you are. You know, that's the only way I ain't gonna judge you because if you gonna be a hoe and hiding it, I'm gonna judge your ass up and down. But my thing is, I'm like, yo, you're wildin'. And I was just like, well, I wasn't too upset specifically because I never had any sexual relations with that man. So I'm like, oh, well, that's crazy. But it's just like, bro, we were all friends. Like, how could you do some shit? Like that, like what the fuck? So he starts explaining to me that apparently, and listen to this, right? And this is why I specifically wanted to tell this story because y'all need to watch who you're friends with, okay? And I don't want anyone to take this video and run with it like, oh, this is why I don't have female friends. This is why I don't bring my guy friends around any of my female friends. You should never be dating a man that's gonna be looking at your friends like this at all. And you should never be looking at any woman as competition. You should never have friends around you that think like this about any of your relationship. This is a story this man done told me. Okay, I gotta do the voice. <laughs> I 
have to give my Oscar winning performance, okay? So keep in mind, my nickname is Shorty, okay? Man, Shorty, man, like, it was even like that, man. Like, it wasn't like I just went after the girl and like, you know, it just like was something I was trying to do, man. Like, she just, she just really wanted me because like, she wanted what you had. What the hell is you talking about, JJ? What is you talking about? Like, how in the world do you go and cheat on me with somebody that was my friend, like literally like borderline a best friend literally somebody that we both hung out with like we was a trio and then you gonna lie about it and then everybody knew about it but me i'm surprised nobody told me and then on top of that like she's somebody that's with everybody like god forbid i would have touched you you would have gave me something and i hate to say it but like literally she was known to carry diseases so what in the man shorty like i i understand like calm down calm down don't tell me to calm down because i'm very calm like literally my tone stayed like this the whole time i was like i'm calm i just would like an explanation because this is ridiculous to me like you're accusing me of doing voodoo on you when i didn't but at this point i should have and i would have did it like when i was 15 maybe but like now i really don't care i just want to know because i'm curious but it's just like what and like listen like i said let me finish bro she wanted what you had all right she specifically wanted that love that i have for you you know i loved you shorty but you see you wouldn't let me pipe you wouldn't let me pipe and I really wanted to give it all you, you know I really wanted to love on you and you just wouldn't let me have it and I, I really wanted to tear you up shorty like I really wanted to tear you up and you know she was just there because you know she was giving it to everybody so it just it just happened one day so yeah like I, I did it with your friend and it just it, it is what it is like I'm sorry and it, I didn't mean to and and it's not the fact that I like wanted to do it or anything like that. Like she was just there and she just really wanted what you had. Like she literally was like, you know, kiss me like you kissed Shorty. Like hugged me like you hugged Shorty. And that's when, that, that, you know, that's when she started getting weird because I was like, bro, like you not Shorty, like cut it out. Like cut it out, like you not her. And I will never love you or like you or touch you or kiss you like her. You are not her. You can't have what she has my heart belongs to shorty Just let that sink in, y'all. Just let that sink in. This girl essentially took my man, and let me just pause right there because I'm the type of person I always say, no man can be taken if he wants to stay. But for the purposes of this video and making things shorter, she essentially took my man and then try to make my man love on her the way he loves on me. What type of psycho child? It and you're, bro, this is high school. This is scary. The fact that there's probably grown women that do 10 times worse than this is actually scary. What? So I'm just sitting there looking at him. Like, I, when I'm telling y'all, I couldn't even, like, I was just looking at him like, Upa, what? Like, I was like, so what happened after that? Because at this point, I'm intrigued. I was just like this. <laughs> like, I had to hold my own hand up. I'm intrigued. Yeah, like, I'm telling you, like, I said, like, it was getting crazy because, again, like, it started to get weird. She started saying she wanted me to, to, to kiss her like I kiss you and, and hold her like I hold you. And, again, like I said, like, my heart belonged to Shorty. Like, it would never belong to you. And that's when I specifically told her, like, you know what? I'm done with this. I'm done with you. And stop talking to Shorty. That's it. Like, you're done. I'm done with you. And you're done with her. You are not shit. Like, you can't be friends with Shorty. Like, you can't be friends with her. You too too like you ain't shit and shorty's too good of a friend to you so i need you to stay away from her pause put a pin in that so let's just say right out of nowhere saber tooth stopped talking to me bro like it's crazy like like i said we was a trio we used to hang out together we had like three classes together out of nowhere saber tooth just stopped talking to me she stopped coming around me she stopped saying hi to me we used to sit together in math class which was our first period she stopped talking to me we used to see each other in english class she stopped talking to me she stopped sitting next to me we see each other in gym she would sit on the other side of of the gym and mind you we had this thing called the Dunn Sports Center I've been talking about it a lot in my reunion um videos on Patreon this girl would sit on the opposite side of the gym and the Dunn Sports Center is huge it literally has like six basketball courts in it so you can imagine how big that is she would sit on the opposite side of the gym so I'm just like what is going on with the girl I'll try to talk to her she just wouldn't say nothing so apparently I guess I could attribute that to um JJ sleeping with Sabretooth and I'm hearing all of this like so that's why that girl stopped talking to me because you told her to stop talking to me because I was too good of a friend to her and and what gives you 
that right specifically because I mean you did have sex with her so what gives you a right to continue being my friend after you cheated on me with her I just want to know the logic behind this like I just I genuinely want to know uh and he's like listen I understand where you come from but I was young I was dumb and I was just done with her and I couldn't stand that you know she was all up happy and giggling your face and the fact that you know she know what she did to you what about what you did to me JJ like I'm just like sitting here trying to think to myself like well what about what you did because like why are we blaming her like yeah it's her fault and she was my friend but like you were my boyfriend like both of y'all are horrible so what is the logic here he's like oh he like I get it I get it but like she's just as bad if not she worse because that's your friend JJ you know I knew you first right I knew you before I got to high school um and on top of that like you were basically going along with this for quite a while until you were like, oh no, you're not a good friend. Don't talk to Ivana. Well, don't talk to Shorty. So he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. I get it. Well, yeah, you know, it is what it is. But, uh, you know, that's why, you know, I thought you did voodoo on me because what I did to you. I didn't even know you did all that. I didn't even know you did all that. I thought that it was just like, I don't even, y'all, that's crazy. I'm like, I never knew that. You went and you messed with Sabretooth. I had no idea of knowing, like, where would I get that inclination from? Nobody ever opened their mouth to specifically tell me that you messed with that woman. If I had known, maybe, but even at that, no. Like, I was too heartbroken at the time. I didn't talk to, to JJ for a minute. Like, I don't remember, I know I didn't talk to him for a minute. And then eventually, like, we ended up becoming friends. And then he ended up getting with a girl. And the girl tried to pin a baby on him, Chad. That's a whole nother story for another time. But, like, it's crazy, because I'm like, if I would have known that that's what he did. I probably would have never talked to him again. And the, the, the course of history would have been changed. I'm telling you right now. JJ added a lot of drama to my life, y'all. Like, a lot of drama to my life. So, let this be a warning. Be careful who you're friends with. Be careful who you allow into your circle. Be careful who you call a friend. And again, don't let this be one of those things where you're like, oh, all girls are evil. All girls want your man. All girls da 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 Because that's not really what it is. At the end of the day, some people are really jealous of you. As much as a lot of people people watching this probably think oh well nobody could be jealous of me oh I don't have anything that anyone wants a lot of people want the things that you want while you're sitting here bitching crying complaining about the blessings that you have a lot of people want the things that you have because they don't have it and they feel like they can't achieve what you've achieved okay stop keeping your head in your ass and start looking around you and seeing what needs to be changed seeing who needs to be replaced because a lot of people would not hesitate to replace your ass in a heartbeat when I'm telling y'all this girl was my friend like yo we were very very close okay I used to bring her snacks she used to bring me snacks we used to talk all the time she told me all her intimate details her whole details all of that shit I would have never thought in a million years that she was the one that was out here sleeping with JJ specifically when JJ cheated on me I was crying on her like literally because again we were in first period together I was crying on her she was like oh my god JJ not shit how dare JJ do that that like I when I'm telling you her acting was amazing because I would have never thought okay JJ ain't shit how dare JJ do that like oh my god like yo nah nah fuck him and then we spent like a good week or two or however long I didn't talk to JJ not talking to JJ together because again we were a trio we didn't talk to JJ for a good minute sat there me mugging JJ whole time she was sitting there fucking JJ after school okay be very very careful this doesn't mean that you can't trust anyone it just means you need to use your common sense your intuition and your discernment at that age i personally don't think i had any discernment probably if i was thinking a lot clearer and i wasn't homeless and i wasn't worried about fighting all the damn time i would have peeped that the girl was a snake ass saber tooth hoe but due to all my life circumstances there's absolutely no way i would have been able to see that that girl was a snake to be quite honest with you like she she got me okay i'm not even gonna lie like she got me but now i'd be able to peep that shit from all the way girl no 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 so with that being said comment down below have you ever had anything like this happen to you have you ever had a person cheat on you with a close friend because to be honest with you i'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions down below it's just a hot mess and i can't believe he did that like i was annoyed but i was just like wow like it was a kind of a shock to me that nobody opened their mouth to tell me but now that i think about it i think it's specifically because they knew i really would have beat her ass like, i literally would have came to class and just hit her because that's what i did with anybody else that tried me like i literally would just come to their class 
ass and hit him. Good days. Anyways, not really. Bad days. Don't listen to Ivana. With that being said, make sure you guys go check out Ana Luisa. Like I said, everything is linked down below. Please make sure you guys support the channel. It means a lot to me. Make sure you guys support the Patreon. Again, dedicated uploads, early access, and a dedicated Discord. I love you guys so very much. I'll see you guys in the next video. And yeah, like, subscribe, do all that, and I'm gonna see y'all next time. Bye!